the first book of Samuel, chapter 17, Davy and uh, Goliath, part 1, King James Version. Now, the Philistines gather together their armies to battle. Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on the mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side. And there was a valley between them and there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was a six cubits and a span, and he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass, and he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders, and the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron, and one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? And not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul. Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me, and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him, and kill him, then shall he be our servants, and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. And the three eldest sons of Jays went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Elab, the firstborn, and the next unto him, Abinadab, and the third, Shama. And Devi was the youngest, and the three elders followed Saul. But Devi went and returned from Saul to feed his father's ship at the bath he had. And the Philistine drew near morning and the evening, and presented himself forty days. And the Jays said unto Devi, his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of his patch corn, and these ten loaves run to the camp of thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fear, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And Devi rose up early in the morning, and left the ship with a keeper, and took and went, as Jez had commanded him, 
And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And Dali left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, and ran into the army, and came, and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with them, behold, there came out the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And the devil heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him, and were so afraid. And the man of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And Devi spake to the man that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine? and taketh away the reproach from Israel. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answer him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. And the Eliab, his eldest brother heard when he spake unto the man, and Eliab anger was kindled against Dari, and he said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few ship in the wilderness? I know thy pride, and the naughtiness of thy heart. For thou art come down, that thou mightest see the battle. And Devi said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard, which Devi spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And Devi said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to Devi, Thou art no, not able to go against these Philistines to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And Devi said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's ship, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb, out of the flock. And I went out of him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. That's it. Thank you. God bless you.